Let us tell you how Mamta Banerjee will probably have to steal herself for a double whammy. Well, after Congress ignored her objections on fuel prices, it may now be considering allowing FDI in retail, a move that she opposes tooth and nail. After dithering for months, the cabinet may be ready to greenlight FDI in retail. In fact, Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs is to meet shortly and FDI in retail is also likely to come up in it. FDI, remember, is expected to bring in critical infrastructure to store and transport food grains. But its critics, like the BJP and its ally Mamta Banerjee, say that it will mean lakhs of Kirana stores will go out of business. In fact, Vijay Malia will also have his eyes firmly on the cabinet meeting today. The cabinet is also considering allowing foreign airlines to buy up to 39% stake in Indian carriers. Kingfisher promoter Vijay Malia is betting on the FDI clearance to bail out his cash strapped carrier. According to Civil Aviation Minister Ajit Singh, the government this time has consulted all its allies and is hopeful of a positive outcome. I think it will happen. And I think it should happen. Uh, it's long overdue. Uh, like many, uh, even Western countries, uh, to ensure that uh, it is not more than 49%, so that the management uh, and the board control is with the Indian companies. Uh, because aviation is a very specialized sector, it is a very tough sector. So, I mean, it is it's common sense that if you want a, a joint venture in automobile, it will be an automobile company investing in an automobile company. And uh, therefore, um, you know, if you're a pharmaceutical company, you have a joint venture with another pharmaceutical company. So it makes sense uh, uh, eminently, uh, uh, keeping in mind what is good for the consumer and what is good for the common man and not what is uh, good for the few players uh, who are trying to lobby uh, against it because uh, they do not want competition. I mean, that is, I think, more than the politicians, we have to blame the existing airlines. It is the airlines who are, uh, you know, using their dirty tricks to put pressure on the government. And, uh, of course, apart from the coalition politics, uh, now I think, fortunately, everybody has... Uh, uh, I think aligned. Uh, we heard that even Mamta Banerjee has uh, agreed for this, which is good, because we need not just uh, foreign airlines to invest in the existing airlines. Foreign airlines must find new partners so that more companies uh, can uh, can. In but nobody wants to invest in the sector uh, because of the kind of uh, uh, you know difficulties that are there in the sector. I think this will enable more airlines to. Uh, uh, take to the skies more capacity so that the prices come down and the cartel is broken but uh, pump life to some of the airlines that are also having a tough time like yeah i think uh, yeah it, it, it is uh, uh, not only for the existing airlines uh, because some of the existing airlines are already doing good it is to ensure that uh, in fact some of the existing airlines do not want to fdi as you know they're lobbying against it uh, but it is basically to uh, bring in more competition you know we need more competition to uh, to make the uh, the sector more uh, efficient, uh, competitive, and um, we know need more more flights and to more places and more people to travel. We have to expand the market.